To make a successful game that is good, has an active and loving fanbase and that is actually recognized, you gotta either have something that differentiates yourself from the average generic ass project, or just copy a working formula that has been reused and saturated for almost a decade and create a nightmarish abomination, but let's not talk about that. And one element that really reflects on the distinct style great games have is definitively their art, be it for funny, bizarre or generally just different designs the characters have, the abstract and definitively simple simple but good environments are the whatever the hell this is. So I was casually coming up with videos idea and I thought, hey, what if cool and unique character designs simply got swept from game? How many changes and adaptations you'd have to make for them to make sense? And how would the final results actually be like? And that is exactly what we are doing today. Today we will recreate indie game characters in another one style. But before we do that, please don't skip it, leave a like, a comment, and if you enjoyed this video, check out my other videos and maybe even subscribe. No seriously, don't just ignore this as a generic youtuber warning, I'm a beginner channel and every little kind of help you can give me really makes the difference. So make sure to watch it to the end and of course, have fun. Oh, well. Now, let's do this. So, the first thing I did was to obviously select the games I would draw, so I decided to go on the RPG Maker Classic side of the things, and selected Off, Lisa, Space Funeral, and Undertale, and even though Undertale is an RPG Maker, but it's still an energy game and an RPG. So I decided to do 4 drawings, Lisa in the style of Off, Off in the style of Lisa, Spain f uh, Space Funeral in the style of Undertale, and Undertale in the style of Space Funeral. So let me show you guys how it turned out. First, Bread from Lisa in Off. The first thing I did was to look at some references from Off characters. Off is my favorite game of all time, so I thought it would be actually easier to copy its style. But the thing is that Off doesn't have a lot of human looking characters. Most of them have indeed some human characteristics, but Brad was straight up a normal guy, at least to an extent lol. So I decided to give him a little mask and maintain his clothes that would cover most part of his body. Similar to my Zachary redesign from a video that I made here where I recreated indie game character designs that you should totally check out if you enjoyed this one, it's on a card popping out somewhere at the screen. I also carved holes out of his mask so he could see things. Made this weird looking mouth thing that I considered removing a lot of times but in the end I liked. I also gave him some dreads and a little baldness there cause his fucking and a lot of friends that I show this question that choice, like, why the fuck did you give him dreads? And the reason is that, like, I don't know, I was about to say that all of characters are bows, but I remember Zachary existed, so, I don't know, I'm still- The stripes on the arms were inspired by a secret boss enough, Sugar, that has a really cool look, and was basically the biggest inspiration from this red design, together with Zachary when he wears that cat mask. So yeah, this is pretty much how it turns out. I really like this, not just as a bread redesign since it's not that similar, but as a character in general. Leave your thoughts on the comments. Now let's go for the next one. Okay, pay attention to this one because if it's not the best one, it's definitively one of them. When I started working on this drawing, I was just doing a normal man, an average NPC on Lisa, but when I got to the mouth, I realized that that wouldn't just work. So, the better path to follow was to create something similar to a Joy Mutant. Joy Mutants are bizarre monsters that mutated from regular human beings to these fucked up abominations you are seeing now, thanks to a Joy Overdose, that is, a drug. And instead of making that hole on the mouth and the part close to the eyes, I made a face without skin, so just fucking flesh, and it turned out scary as fuck. Like normal Dayton, this version had an overcoat, but instead of jeans, I made him wear pants and Socks, fuck it. Hey Jaden, nice car. I also made his body extremely distorted and deformed, but not as much as the normal Joy Mutants because I still wanted this to look like Jaden, and making him completely loyal to the original game would make it kinda boring. I made some simple lightning and this is how it turned out. I actually really like this one, it was really fun to work and looks pretty good. But what are your thoughts on it? So now, let's go to the next one. So now, this one is actually a little bit different from the previous, not just since I'm doing actually two characters right now, both Philips and Leghorse, but also because I can kinda see a lot of elements already present into their design working naturally on the detail. I actually think that if Leghorse wasn't too gory, he would work really well alone in the detail as some kind of NPC or something. I had to change mostly Philips, now he is a skeleton and... and... Uh, wait a minute... You guys, you guys see this, right? Oh my god, guys. 
I think I have a fucking gang theory. Fun fact, Sans actually stands for Phillips after not surviving. I then made him cry and started working on leg horse. I made him a little more cute and instead of his face being that severed member, it was actually a little face. And making the line art for this was actually extremely quick, way more than the previous two. What took more time was definitively finalizing and coloring it, which is an interesting, so I'm not going to document. So this is how it turned out. I like this one, it was also fun to do, but now let's see the next one because it's very interesting. Oh and also, if you like the song that plays on the background of this chunk of the video, consider checking out my video recreating indie game songs. I am a genius, I pull the references and you don't even see it. I decided for this one to grab a not very well known character, the dummy, and shout out to this battle team, it sounds fucking good. How about instead of fabric, or whatever the fuck you used to make a dummy, we make using body parts. <laughs> I can imagine this guy being like, leg horse, lost brother or cousin. I initially made his members being connected by some kind of metal or rope thing, but I realized that that would be too similar to the original one, so I went for literal meat. I also thought it would be funny to make some of his hands and a leg wrong, so it's inverted. When I went to color, something that I had to make sure was to select an interesting and extremely saturated and crazy color palette, since that is a big part of Space Funeral's visual identity. Everything is over the top and exaggerated, completely insane, and I would need to replicate that on this guy. So I made him bright yellow and the mid parts strong red and a little saturated purple. So after this, I decided not to shade actually, cause this would make the color stick out less. And that is something I definitively didn't want as I never had explained. But for it not to be extremely plain, I decided to give the bloody parts a bit more detail and made him pretty much covered on it. And this is how it turned out. If I thought this one was very simple, I still like the result. But what did you think of it? Okay, so these are all the redesigns I made. I personally really like the Daydent one, but what is your favorite? Leave your thoughts on the comments. If you enjoyed this video, as I said before, be sure to leave a like, a comment, and if you like my channel as a whole, subscribe or even share it with your friends. As I said before, I'm a beginner channel, and every little kind of help you can give me really makes the difference, I'm being serious. So now, goodbye.